hello guys welcome back to the video again and in the last video we have created the database table this was the table we created in the last tutorial now we will create the php scripts so the first question is why we need a php script as our android application cannot access the database directly we need some web services to communicate with the database residing in our server but uh, this is not necessary that you can only use PHP you can use any server side scripting language and uh, as I am more comfortable with PHP I am using PHP over here so for uh, creating a web services you can use a PHP framework as well you can refer to my tutorial this tutorial for creating web services using slim frame framework but I want to make this tutorial as simple as possible that's why I'm not using any third-party framework I'll be using the core PHP over here so as I'm using XAMPP server we need to go to XAMPP root directory which is stdocs so go to applications XAMPP stdocs and here create a folder for your web services so I'm creating let's name it Android and open this folder in your sublime inside this folder create one more folder name it includes and uh, one more folder for the web services scripts so name it v1 inside includes okay close it and I'm going to use sublime the first script we need is constants.php this file will store the important constants which we need to connect with the mysql database so i'll define some constants over here Let's define the php tag over here and then write the code define now the constant name that's db name and the database name was android that we created in the first video now we need db user and the user is root define db password password is blank by default and the final constant is host db host and the host is local host so we have the constants ready here and now create one more php script for connecting with the database so i'm naming it db connect dot php this script will actually connect to the database and will return us a link to the database so here i'm creating a class named db connect and then i'm declare a variable con now a constructor this is the constructor and then we will declare a method named connect inside this method first we will include our file constants.php that is needed so I'll write here include once then dir name function and we can pass the predefined constant file here and then we will concatenate the script name which is constants sorry constants.php the file is included now we will initialize or connect the database on this variable so we will write this 
con that means this and then we will create a my sqli ob object my sqli and we will pass the constant here the first constant is host then user then password and then name I guess you can see it clearly so let's cross check the constants name user password and host name user password and host so we have connected to the database and now we will check if there isn't any error so we will write if and inside if we will check the error with a predefined method named connect underscore error no if there is an error this method will return true and here we will print echo failed to connect with database and we can also concatenate the actual error message this method will return the error that occurred in connecting with the database and if there isn't any error we will return the con variable so the db connect class is ready and the next class we need to perform the database operations so i will create the class in the next video thanks for watching